guys, happy Friday. Today's video, I'm gonna be sharing my garden center haul that I got. You can see a few flowers over here. And I wanna show you a couple things around my yard. Um, we did have that snow on Tuesday, and luckily everything has survived. We just lost a few branches. But I was gonna show you a few things before that happened, but I didn't get to, so now we're gonna do that on today's video. So let's get started with the garden center video. Okay, this is one of my favorite garden centers to go to here, is O'Toole's. I like to go to another one called Ector's, but it's way further up north. This one's a really nice little one to go to. Try not to get too many people in here. Oh, they got some cool stuff. I'm gonna go look at some of this garden art. These pink flamingos are cute. stuff here. Cactus. I'm just going to kind of look around here real quick. I'm going to grab a cart and I'm going to get some flowers. There are lots of cute little garden art things and fountains. I am looking for a new bird bath. To go find one of those homes. Look how cute this is. Here. Look, little cat scrubbing the back of a pig in a bucket. This is so cute. And probably, it's probably very expensive though. Wouldn't doubt it. But it is cute. Like I said, they got some really cute things here. Look at this. It's cute. And this birdhouse. The birdhouse does say it's $49.99. It's pretty good size though. I also need some hanging, ooh, hanging pots too, I like that one, but not at $149, yeah, it could be a little pricey here. I usually get just some interesting looking flowers here and get my generic stuff like marigolds and that kind of stuff at uh, Home Depot and Lowe's. Let's see what kind of flowers they got inside now. I'd love to get the dahlias here. I really can't find any pretty dahlias. I get uh, Home Depot or Lowe's. I really like these. I'd like to put a few dahlias in my pots. Oh, I got some real pretty colors here. I'm gonna have to get some pinks and yellow, and maybe red. And I really like these. Let's grab some real quick. Oh, I got lots of geraniums here. This like a salmon color here. Pretty colors here. You're lucky just to be able to get red at the other places. Got a nice dark red one. I might have to grab some of those. Not sure yet. Get some of these. These look like little daisies. Once they open up, here we go. There's a little more open. Those will look nice in the pots. So I like to put some white in there. Let me grab a few of these. I think I need a bigger cart. I purposely take a small cart so I won't get too much, but I am really loading this one up, as you can see. Got some pretty things going on here. Let's see what else I can find. All right, I had to get a bigger cart. I couldn't handle it anymore. I kept seeing cute, cute things. This is pretty much what I'm gonna get, and we'll kind of go inside and check out all the fun stuff. And took the flowers out to the car. I thought we'd come back in and look at some stuff. I hate pushing that big old cart on, but they have lots of cute little things too. And this location isn't super big, but they have a lot of stuff packed in here. Oh, I really like that box. Yeah, that would look cool in the garden. So I'm gonna have to come back and look at some of this. Got a lot of garden gnomes if you're into that. I don't know, sometimes they're a little creepy to me. So. <laughs> oh, I like this. It's a little bee spinner. That's cute. These are kind of cute. I like to put little metal things in my pots. Oh, look at this. It's a little terrarium. 
seventy dollars. Wow, that's really cute. I've never seen one. Okay. It's it's plastic, not glass. I kind of got a bunch of stuff pulled in here right now, as you can see, because we had the snow on Tuesday. So it's kind of hard to get through here. Oh, these are cute. Oh, I like those. Like I said, you never know what you're going to find here. So I might have to come back and just look around. But I do like to get some garden art. And I am still looking for a new bird bath. Since the deer knocked my other one over and it broke. Oh, look at this. Right here. What is this? I'm not sure if this is 39 or 89. That is kind of cool. Whoops. I really can't tell. I don't think you can see it very well. It's kind of faded right there. I can't tell if that's an eight or a three. Okay, I wouldn't buy it for 90, but maybe for 40. Yeah. So I might have to come back here and do a little more checking out. They got some really, really cool stuff here. I only, I mean, this is like so much to look at. Oh, the whale, that was really nice for the coastal theme. It's cute with sunflower. Bless my bloomers. I like that. <laughs> I can't really get out here, as you can see. Like I said, I got everything jammed in here from the snow. Let's so go another little section here. Oh, this is cute. Yeah. All right, let's go back outside. So go back in mainly where the annuals are at. Like I said, they pulled so many plants in here. Just going to show you the outside part. But this is pretty big here. I usually don't buy my perennials here. They're a little more expensive. Sometimes you can find some really unusual ones though. Let's see how far back this goes. We have bought a few trees here at other houses. See, this is a lot of stuff here. Oh, I like this. Like I said, I gotta, I gotta look at some perennials too. I'm gonna plant some more around the pond. I can never have too many flowers. Yeah. So this, you can see there's, for how little this place is, they got air, lots of stuff packed in here. Let's see what they got back here. We used to have a lot of stuff here back by this gazebo. Oh, look at this little shed looking thing. That is cute. Oh, well, I got lots of roses out here. I'd like to have something like this at my house, but yeah, the HOA wouldn't let me have it, that's for sure. Or even the gazebo. Can't even have that. You know, I didn't know they had a little pond back here. I haven't really been back in this area. Oh, look at the peonies. These are actually in the ground here. Oh, I'd love to have some of those. My husband doesn't like them that well. And the lupins right there, those are pretty. He doesn't like the peonies. See, they just fall over. I said, that's why you gotta put the little things around them. Oh, I see a big chicken over here. So they put more artwork out here. Actually, yard art pretty big. And he's $70. And this is a bench that he's on. And that, look how big he is. I have another one back there. And I got some cute metal work here. And some nice benches. Yeah. Like I said, I'm going to have to come back here. Again, I should We used to have lots of uh, bird baths. I'm not sure where those are at. Well, that will do it for this. I'm gonna head on over to Home Depot. It's just right across the street and get the generic flowers that I get from them. 
I'll probably definitely have to come back here. Oh, I love these flowers here. They're $40. That's not too bad. They're pretty big. This is a cute welcome sign. It's the whole thing. You get this too. And there's more flowers going down. Pretty good sized. All right, well, now I'm gonna go to Home Depot and see what I can get over there. Well, now I'm here at Home Depot and it's a little disappointing to come over here, but uh, I get potting soil mix over here since it's a lot cheaper. And they have a lot of their stuff covered. I'm probably gonna see if I can grab some uh, perennials here for the yard. So I'll be showing everybody what I got when I get home later today. Well, I brought all the flowers home on my lunch today. And these over here are my perennials that I got. And I'll probably be getting some more perennials. But they just don't have a whole lot out yet. They mainly have the annuals. And as you can see, I got a lot of annuals here. I actually had to go to another Home Depot, the one closer by my house. I mean, because I couldn't believe it. That one that was across from O'Toole's didn't even have marigolds at all. I wanted to get a few marigolds here. I like to get the orange and the yellow. So this is basically what I'm going to be putting in my pots. And I do like to put some snapdragons in my uh, flower beds too because they reseed themselves. So this is what I will be doing this long weekend. Is getting my pots done and doing some planting of these over here. i got a couple butterfly bushes too. I want to get probably a couple more in a darker purple. I, just, I think the hummingbirds are going to like it. I hear them flying around. That's why I like some of these flowers. So that is that for today on this part. I wanted to show everybody my three lilac clumps here that I have. As you can see, we still have a little bit of snow left. Let's go over here and I don't know why this is my garage right here. This is the north side of the house, and you know it's not like you can be over here and see them. I wish they would have put them more in the front, but I have three of them. I have one here and two on the other side of the fence, and they smell beautifully. I just I love the smell of lilacs. They're very gorgeous trees. Like I said, I don't know why they planted them over here on this side of the house. I would love for them. They'll show you here. This is the, we have a side loading garage. I wish they would have been here because I really hate these kind of bushes here. And you know, we had them trimmed up to look a little bit nicer, but I'll show you. It is like a lot of them here. I would love to have these pulled out and have a nice, beautiful flower garden in here. Maybe another one of the dwarf spruces in here. This was one thing that I didn't like about this house when we moved here is the front yard. It's really kind of blah. Actually, across the street, my neighbor here, she gets a gorgeous garden going. And not yet, but they come in and they plant tons of annuals in her front area, and she just recently put this pond. You might be able to hear it. She just recently had that pond put in last year. She has a big, huge one in the back. She has a gorgeous house. I love her house. As you can see, everything's nice and green from all the snow and uh, the rain we've been getting. And I did want to show you something in the backyard really quick. Back so here, I just wanted there. to show you real quick that these clumps of ornamental grass, I'm going to be removing them. This one definitely looks dead. I don't like these here. I'm not really a big fan of them. I'm going to put some uh, perennials in here, some of those that I bought at the garden center. And probably, these are the same kind here. I'm probably going to leave these here, maybe eventually change them out. I like the things that get taller better. These don't get super tall. But I want to show you this little tree here. Uh, when it first starts blooming, let's get up here. You can kind of see. You can hear the hummingbirds oh, flying around. Of course, it might be attracted to my phone again. It is pink. See how the little buds are this fuchsia color? But when they open up, they're white, like this, with a little tint of pink to it. I really wish they would be that color, because the first spring we were here, I was when we first saw it, I thought, oh, this is going to be so gorgeous with that color. And then they opened up to be white, and I'm like, okay, a little disappointed. I wanted to see that 
fuchsia color because I love fuchsia. But I just want to show everybody this tree. And like I said, I will be showing more of the yard. Hopefully, I can get most of it done. And I guess I'm still working on this area. Not everything is up as you can see. My lavender is up. But all my little things there haven't gone. It, it takes a while here for some reason. Sometimes it's usually uh, mid-July by the time everything is really big and full. I still have a few things I need to cut down. Those things back there are my mums. I need to cut a few more of the dead stuff off. And these right here, got to cut some more of that off. Got to do a little weeding too. So, well, that's it that I want to show you in the yard right now. And there will be more next week, hopefully. Well, I hope that everybody enjoyed the video today. I am going to be planting all these this coming weekend and I will definitely get a video up of that where I put them. I do have some perennials over here and uh, oh I did want to show you one thing so let me grab it really quick. So this is one of the perennials that I got and you can see this. I don't know if you can see it very well but real tiny here it says deer resistant. Well unfortunately I mean, I try to keep these, they will actually try to eat them. And you know what, I don't, here in my neighborhood, the deer pretty much eat just about anything, even though this is deer resistant, because you know what, the deers do not read this label. It's like I want to take it out and show it to them, say, look, I'm not supposed to eat these. I don't know why, but they will. I try to plant things that they're not supposed to eat, but every once in a while, the flower heads are gone. And I know they especially love roses, that's why I don't have any roses here. One other thing, that they love to eat, I don't know why, is these. They don't really eat them. What they do is I, I like to put these around the, uh, around my pots in the front so it will, you know, these will grow bigger and hang down. And I'll come home and these will be pulled out of my pots and just laying on the ground. I don't know, they do it every time. I don't get it why they do it. I'm like, you guys don't like them, you don't eat them, but they will pull things out of my pots. They've even done marigolds and they'll just be laying there on the ground, so. That's the one thing I don't like too much about the deer here. So when I do have things that I know they will eat, because I do have a couple things over here that I put in pots, they're on my deck because they don't go up the steps and get on my deck. So I just wanted to share that little thing because I think it's kind of funny how they always have deer resistant on plants. So you buy it and, oh, guess what? They munch on it all the time and it's gone. So, But uh, I want to wish everybody a very wonderful weekend. And I will be doing that tablescape, the lemon one, on Sunday. So be sure to join me for that. So wishing everybody a very wonderful weekend again. And I will see you next time. Bye for now.